Recently, a few editors here at Babcock's Media were moving around a 2016 Kia Soul for a video shoot. All of a sudden, the right rear wheel locked up. With several ASE certified technicians on the editorial staff, there was no shortage of theories as to the source of the problem. Some people blamed the parking brake, ABS isolation solenoids, and even the brake line developing an internal flap restriction. Only when the wheel was pulled off did they get a glimpse of the state of the brake pads and rotors. The friction material was worn down to four millimeters and it was getting close to the wear sensors on both sides. The inboard pad on the right side was missing half of the friction material. So what caused the failure? The sole in question only had 65,000 miles. The owner's commute is on freeways 90% of the time. But here in Northeast Ohio, the vehicle has been exposed to a very corrosive environment over four years. The corrosion attacked the backing plate, shim, and surfaces that make contact with the bracket. But the area of the backing plate to which the friction material attaches received the most significant corrosion. The corrosion caused the friction material to delaminate from the backing plate. This is a difficult condition to spot using normal inspection methods. The typical failure starts at the ends of the brake pads. Small pieces can break off the ends and can be seen between the caliper bracket and rotor. Some failures leave the friction material intact, but you can slide a feeler gauge between the backing plate and friction material. The owner of the Kia Soul was lucky. The delamination failure could have happened on the road. The best case scenario was that it would have left him stranded. The worst case scenario would be a sudden loss of control. Here are a few tips from ASE certified technician and Babcock's director of content, Andrew Markell. One, never judge the condition of the brake pads using just one pad. Both pads and their thickness need to be inspected and documented. Two, never take rust or corrosion lightly. Corrosion on the caliper and pads is an indication that the coating, plating, or paint has failed and needs to be addressed. Three, never estimate condition or thickness using percentages. It's impossible to predict the life left in a brake pad with a percentage. While most consumers might be able to understand a percentage, it's misleading and often inaccurate. In order to accurately estimate the percentage of material worn on a brake pad, you'd first have to know how much friction material was present when the pad was new. No matter the make, there's a specification for a minimum thickness that's between two to five millimeters. Going back to the example we talked about in the beginning of the video, typically the main culprit of friction material separation is corrosion. If a replacement brake pad uses a low quality backing plate that's thinner than the original, it can bend and cause the friction material to separate from the backing plate. Thanks for watching.